Hello, uh, my name is Mark Abadi, Mark's Moments. So, we're going to talk today about uh, female equality and um, no woman, no drive, which has been the driving force for me to, to make this video. Uh, that's referring to the Saudi Arabia ban on uh, women driving. Of course, women shouldn't be allowed to drive. It's uh, not good for their wombs. Okay, that's obvious bullshit. The point is that a lot of people get confused with, especially in the in the Muslim world, they get confused with the idea of women, uh, female equality, meaning that they should do the things that men do. And this was a, a recent debate on Facebook um, uh, with regards to uh, some some idea that a, a woman women degrade themselves and they can do anything a man can do, uh, but better. And of course, this is the 80s power woman concept, the Margaret Thatcher idea that women can do anything better than a man. And of course, a woman could train hard to do things better than what men are innately good at. For example, being strong. There are women who train at the gym who are stronger than me. You know, it's just the way it is. But I would have to train relatively less hard to be as strong as them, because in my genetics, I'm stronger. It's just a fact of maleness. Also, one of the other factors of maleness is, is being spatially more aware than females. This isn't a rule, this is just generally how we've evolved. And we've evolved because men were out hunting in the forest and we needed to develop those skills. Whereas women were at home communicating with their children, building social skills, so they had to develop the linguistic skills. That's why they're far better linguistically, both verbally and non-verbally, than men are generally. Of course, everyone can be the same if you train hard. The point here is not about trying to beat men at their own game, but is trying to evolve the system so that there is a place for the divine femininity, for the for the accepted femininity in the understanding of our political system, in the understanding of our all our systems. They need to move on from this masculine dominated approach to this yang, I win, thus you lose, into a more cooperative, collaborative effort, which is the yin, the, the feminine, the, the circle, the womb encapsulating and in holding all. So people who get lost in this idea that women should be better than men or that men are better than women, they're missing it. It's not about better, it's about different. We are different. And when we can empower our differences and blend them together, that's when the magic happens. That's when the, the evolution occurs, blending two powerful opposites together. So it's never about oppression, and this goes back into ourselves. Everything's the duality. And you look at the, there's a new the, the Science and Non-Duality Conference, the SAN Conference, where Deepak Chopra just recently spoke. They're always talking about going into the singularity, the neutrality. That's what this all is, and namaste. It, it, you blend the opposites, and when you blend opposites, the magic happens. Same inside your personality. If you're suffering from something, if you're, if you're feeling overwhelmed with anxiety or, or, or what have you, um, most people are, are trying to suppress that. They're trying to hold it back. They're trying to control their breathing. They're trying to control things. They feel angry, but they want to suppress it. No, I don't want to feel angry. Stop, go away. Instead, embrace, embrace your emotions, embrace yourself. That is the collaboration of you with you. That's the joining. That's what it's all about, joining. It's never, ever about suppression or rejection. The universe does not suppress. It doesn't care if a star explodes or if a star is born. It doesn't care if a species dies or if a species is created. It is all accepting because all the yin and the yang, the flow, the positive and the negative, happen as one. And that's what life's really about. And when we start living internally with our own self-acceptance we will externalize self-acceptance and we won't be led by this fear-based culture drawing on guilt from the past and projecting our fear-based future in fear-based belief into the future preventing us from living here in the moment because that's where it all happens that's where life is in the moment and the more you live in this moment the more you will flow with the universe. Until next time, check out my website, check out the other links. See you soon.